The universal cycle theory explains how a vortex causes accretion, which produces gravitation. A vortex causes matter to redistribute in layers according to density. Physicists tend to focus on the redistribution of the densest matter toward the center of the rotation, calling it accretion. As a vortex accretes matter, the altered distribution causes pressure differences that lead to gravitation. This video shows various types of water vortices that simulate spiral galaxies. According to the universal cycle theory, the same neomechanical laws operate at all scales of the infinite hierarchy. Consequently, it is possible to simulate different types of spiral galaxies with slight variations in the parameters of some simple water vortex experiments. To simulate galactic structures, it is necessary to design the experiments to somewhat replicate their environments. To do this, the experiments use circular, triangular, and rectangular containers to represent different galactic surroundings. In nature, the galactic medium is a vast sea of free-floating atoms, so-called gas clouds. In the experiments, the medium is water. In a galaxy, atoms condensed as stars are the circulating matter. In the experiments, tea leaves with a density slightly greater than water are the circulating matter. Now sit back and enjoy music from Handel's Water Suite, while the remainder of this demonstration shows videos of different water vortices in different environments, producing different circulations of ground tea leaves. <laughs> 